Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to open a text file in your Qt GUI application and show it into a Qtext edit or Qplain text edit or you can show it in text browser also. So let's get started. For example, I'm going to take this text browser which is there in uh, display widgets. I will just drag and drop it into my form and I will resize it a little and I will take a push button from my toolbox or widget and I will change its uh, text or its title as open text file okay and then I will just right click go to slot and I will choose the first option which is clicked and I'm in the code behind first of all I'm going to import or include some files which are include Q file for reading the text file second is include q text stream for converting our file to text stream and third is i mean going to include q message box for showing any message if the file path is on not correct or some other problem comes okay so now the includes are done now here I will write my code in this push button click method so in here I will declare a file object so I will write Q file file and I will give the path of the file inside this file object so for example I want to open a text file so I have this sample text file I will right click and I will copy the path of this text file and I will paste it here and don't forget to change this path with double slashes so the single slashes not work if you want to open the file text file in the uh, in a text edit so just add one more slash to every slash okay now and we are going to check whether our file is open or not so in the second line I will write if my file which is a file object which is this object and dot open and here q i o device and i will give it read only so my file is if my file is not open then i will show a message in a message box so i will write Q message box and I'm going to make it as information so I'll write information and then the first argument for the message box zero the second argument would be the title I would say info for example and the third option would be the argument for file error so I will copy once again the file object and I will say dot error string okay so if my file is op not open for some reason then I will show show the message in the sex next line I will uh, 
convert my file into a stream so that I can show it into the text box. So what I will write, I will write Q Q text stream and I will give an object name and I will pass inside this my file object and I will say like this. Now once I converted my file into a stream then I can show this file into my text browser. So I will copy the name of my text browser from, from here. Just copy the name, go to add it and go to this push button click event and what I will write is UI and the name of your text browser which is text browser and I will say set text and we will pass this in here or stream here and I will write dot read all there are some option if you want to read a single line then you can write you can write here read line but I want to read all the text file from the stream so I will say read all so this is the code uh, which is required to open a file in a text browser so let's try and run the code I will save my file and build my code and it will run my code and when I click this button it should show the content of the text file inside this text browser so let's click it and you can see all the content of my text file is shown in this text browser. You can make your application more interesting by adding a Q file dialogs to open the text file so you can choose the text file by clicking this button and it will open the file dialog and you can choose it. I have shown uh, you how to use Q file dialog in the video number 24 I think so go and watch that video and you will be good to go. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.